Hey everybody, this is Typhon from HexRealms.com. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be playing a little PvP this afternoon against Havoc. Um, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to play my, uh, my Mill Bomb deck. Um, what we have here in the opening hand is the Dwarven Turbine, Fate Rack, Secret Lab, um, Yesterday, Oracle Song, I mean, all nice cards, but what I really need is some troops. And the opening hand, Chronic Madness, is always good, so we will go ahead and do that. I'm not doing two mulligans again after that crazy wild mess that I did the other day. I literally mulliganed into a hand of all resources, and it was just crushing. So oh, hopefully luck will be on my side and I'll draw into a two. Play Fate Rack on three. Archmage on four. Not the most ideal curve, but a little chronic mana escalation. Um, should ease the pain. What's he got? What are you playing here? Green. Green again. I'm telling you, everybody's all about that green deck. And that's green ramp because it's chlorophyllia. Uh, and that's normally not in a green bunnies deck, so. So he's greening. Probably green to fist. Unless he's playing uh, small green pack raptors. Uh, I'd like to see a Roostasaur though. I haven't seen one of those in all the games that I've played. Um, there's just uh, there's a bunch of cards that I mean there there are a lot of cards in the alpha, but people are definitely sticking to the same eight to ten decks I mean as you can see I'm only playing about five uh, five or six different decks myself and um, my go my go-to is definitely still the inspire deck I mean it's I I played that enough and tuned it to the point where it just uh, plays by itself um, and it pretty much consistently wins for me some of these other decks are in various states of testing um, so especially this deck I would say this deck is 60-65% win which is uh, against most decks I mean some decks it works better than others um, decks that self draw um, it's great against I mean, Uh, this deck would probably do extremely well against the Demented deck. Just because I'll, as they dump the resources, I'll have Sabotage and uh, Booby Traps in place. And uh, the bombs will go off. So and luckily, that's that's really a part of the meta right now. Uh, Demented Demolisher is pretty significant in here. So what do I have here as far as... I will play that. My champion here is bugged. He only get he's uh what he does is he you pay two, the opponent buries two cards, but he only it can only be done once a game, so I'm not going to do that until I have some sabotage in play, so we will pass on. You have to excuse my dogs barking in the background, I'm sure. I'm sure the mailman or some harmless entity is coming up to the house. But in the event it's a bad guy, just uh, if I go silence, just... 
I, mean, I guess there's nothing you can do because I wouldn't have uploaded the video yet. Oh, I should be Twitch streaming. Then somebody can help me live. Um, as for that, I'm waiting on some gear um, before I start Twitch uh, Twitch streaming. Um, just kind of want to get everything in place, get all the tools in place um, before I start doing that. Uh, so we have some good production value. Um, really using YouTube as a test run, getting the pace of the flow of the game, getting the conversation going. Uh, Twitch is just a lot easier to manage as far as um, the silence because you're always interacting with um, the viewers. They're, they're, role, they're doing the chat role and you can, you can interact with them live. Um, YouTube's just a different beast because you just have to talk to yourself the whole time. Um, so it looks like he's uh, running into a little bit of a troop problem. Uh, fine by me. Uh, if I don't have to get a blocker out, which I don't have, a uh, flock of seagulls is the uh, primary blocker in this deck. And so I will do what I need to do. And I will. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely doing that. Starting out my fate rack engine. So what this does is because I've got the Dwarven Turbine out and it's pay one ready another target artifact and Fate Rack is pay one target champion birds, the top two cards of the deck. If I want to sacrifice two resources, I can make him bury four cards at a time. So we'll get that set up initially um, and just have that option present on the field. While he's not, well, he doesn't have troops and he's not attacking. So uh, the Oracle Song I drew is just a basic target champion draws two cards. It'll allow me to get the cards I need into my hand, um, especially escalating the Chronic Madness. Uh, ah, plain blood. Discard a card. Oh man. I don't want to do that. I picked the troop because Oracle Song gives me two cards. So I'll draw up another troop. At least. That's the plan. You know how those plans always work out for me, so. Talk is really cheap in this game. Show me the money. Ah, oh, flock of seagulls, just in time. So, I am going to go ahead and play that. Get my block on. And what Flock of Seagulls does, if it's flight, it's defensive, doesn't attack, but it prevents all combat damage that would be dealt to this troop. So it's just uh, just throw it out there, start blocking. That card's not going anywhere. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to even though I don't have the sabotages in place, um, it never hurts to disrupt the opponent's game, so we will do that. And I will pay two and utilize the champion, which says target champion buries top two cards of their deck. So that's a good thing for him not to draw. I would hate to have to deal with that. I'll have Oracle Song in my hand. Where are the cards? I mean, short of that opening hand Chronic Madness, I just haven't seen what I need.
This is definitely the slow version of this deck. Um, I've had, I played some other games that you can find on a, a YouTube channel that it's early sabotage and it's early booby traps and chronic madness escalation, you know, to 16 cards. Um, that's when it starts to get fun. I think the real issue why this deck is kind of so slow is that it is mono blue. If I were to, you know, splash blood, go the commit to chronic madness, go demented demolisher, um, you know, it could be over turn three. You know, play to turn four, demented demolisher. Uh, and then end up with you know four or five cards in the deck that that are all chronic madness. Ah, murdered my flock of seagulls for shame. That's all right. I'll get you, sucker. You can just couple this with some some good old hand destruction. That's what would happen if I uh, I was able to splash some blood. I could put giant corpse fly in my hand, and as I'm milling them out, I'm I'm also uh, doing hand destruction. Um, so what you got for me? Resource. And I will go ahead and just play my Oracle song. Two more resources. That's never fun. I will play Fate Rack. Draw two more cards. See if I can get something good out of the way. Resource and Life Siphon. Ooh. Those in there. That's what this deck is. He's just not drawing into it. It's the same. It's probably the, very similar to to my life siphon deck, where the idea is to chlorophylia, um, howling brave, up utilize cards with permanent and temporary resource game, and then life siphon for eight, ten, etc. So as I've said before, overall the alpha is going really well. Um, can't wait for them to kind of add more people. I know everybody wants to join the alpha, but there is a definite lull in the uh, times that people play. Um, I get off work pretty early, so um, when I log in, there's really nobody here. Um, they don't really start showing up until in the, in the evening, and then the server has issues seems to have issues handling um, the load so hopefully they can get all of that resolved and um, we can get more people in um, various time zones into the game and of course if you're looking for uh, other videos from the games I've played I think uh, I've recorded about over 20 games right now um, at this point, you can um, go to the YouTube channel or you can go to hexrealms.com and we'll have them uh, posted with some commentary. Uh, and, I will, and I will get eventually the deck lists um, for those videos in to accompany the, uh, uh, the videos themselves. So you can actually see what I'm playing when I'm playing it. Um, I have been tweaking it so it's some of the older ones they'll they might be one or two cards off but i'll uh i'll watch the videos through and make sure i know which version of the deck i'm playing um, they normally aren't too far off like for instance my inspiration deck took burn out and i replaced it revert that was about three days ago so it's 
pretty obvious uh, which cards I changed. Aha, sabotage. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and sabotage. And then maybe I'll just have them draw right into it. And then I will fate rack. What you got? Uh, a squirrel. And another corpse. And no point in readying it because I don't have enough resources to play. But next turn, I should be able to play it three times, and that is when it's going to get fun. Like I said, my champion's still bugged, I believe. I didn't see anything in the alpha notes that said otherwise. But under normal circumstances, I would be able to play it right now. I haven't tried it. But I would have been able to play, pay two health, and discard two. Uh, some life gain. I don't make so I have to play two sabotages or uh, there's no point in saying I need to attack because this deck doesn't attack, so <laughs> The sole purpose of this deck is to seed the sabotage with the booby traps and then chronic madness down so you hit the sabotages. I mean, so you hit the booby traps on the way down. Um, that is it. Everything else is related to stall, um, drawing cards, or milling decks. It's, there's nothing else going on here. Chronic Madness right now would be great. Top deck. Nope. Alright. Let's see what I have. Resource. Resource. Ophelia, Squirrel. Oh, I forgot I don't have two Dwarven Turbines. for a chronic madness right now. Like I said, I think the better version of this deck is the uh, the blood um, splashing. Get demented and just just commit. Just commit to the uh, to the escalation chronic madness. It's cheap. Not fun. Which is probably why I haven't uh, I haven't built it yet. But if it goes off and you get the cards you need early, uh, I would say early because Demented has to be play is played on five. But you could splash it, and there's enough stall options. At least at that point, you're you're getting um, extinction, so you can do board wipes. You're getting murder. Um, you're getting you know giant fly corpse. You're getting a lot of a lot of options to help you stall. Um, or you could go the other way um, you can try to splash some ruby um, ruby's got some cards that do 
draw three, discard three. So um, you're still siphoning their deck down. Uh, and I think I, I played I played against one of those uh, decks a while back, and uh, but I don't think that was on video because we were testing for a bug um, at that point. It was uh, we were making sure to see if each party had two cards left on their deck if you played rummaging um, who would win and it, when it should be a simultaneous loss and it seems that they do declare a loser at that state wow getting flooded At least he's not hitting me with anything big. He's Dancer and a Necessary Sacrifice. That's another card that you could use to draw up if this was splashed with um, with blood. I'm going to have to do that after this to put together a, uh, a blue blood. Uh, that would be very rich of me. Uh -huh. Deck, help a brother out. Jeez. I wish I could look through their graveyard. I mean, just like, if you hit the right pixel, you can, you can see it. But it's just I'm expecting side scroll, some sort of, really some better presentation, so I can look through the graveyard instead of trying to hit the right pixel here. But it's alpha, so I'm just happy to be playing. Um. It's all in. Come at me, bro. better if I my event was working so uh, my uh, champ po char charge power was working properly so there we go. I got two fate racks it's probably the least optimal version of milling ever oh there goes one of my sabotages booby traps deals five damage to my opponent Okay, there's another resource. I'll draw this. Alright, ready my fate rack. And deal with that. So, what do we have here? Still no sabotage. It's just horrible. If I would just have these, I could mill them for four more. I'd probably hit one. This is probably the last time you'll see this deck. I think I'm uh, the next version and it's definitely going to be Splashing Blood. Uh, let's see if I can't get more draw power in here. Share both flock of seagulls and giant corpse fly, or some other um, 
wallish type troop. With a dandelion. I'm gonna last one more turn, at least he's got a pump. There's really nothing I can do, even if I pull a flock of seagulls, I'm gonna be a block one thing. He's hitting me for four this turn, five the next turn. I'm milling for four. Man. <laughs> he knows it too. He's like, ah, you can't do anything. And there's nothing I can do. I can't draw 26. He's right though. If I can hit a, if I can hit, hit, if I can hit three booby traps, he's gone. But I've got to hit him. If I get sabotage this time, I can load him up more though. And then I can draw a six. Let's see if this will work. Oh, there it is. Is it going to work? Oh, top deck. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, one. What do you have? Oh, nope. Oh well, that was uh, that was close. It was um, I did what I could. Um, there are eight booby traps in my well, I put eight booby traps in my opponent's deck, and I was only to hit one. There are seven more in twenty-six cards, so uh, there's just not enough firepower there to make it work. Um, Need more draw. We'll get it. We'll tweak it. It's definitely going to be a, a Blood Sapphire a Chronic Madness deck. Uh, it's going to be the next iteration of this. I've, I've got to splash something. So once again, this is Typhoon from HexRealms.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.